Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise, this is Dear Designs, and how is everybody? Um, I hope you're all doing well, and yeah, I'm just really enjoying having these relaxing videos. <laughs> um, I am actually watching someone that is vlogging at the moment, and they're really, really making me want to vlog. <laughs> um, but I need to have a break from it, I think. So um, it's gonna be a couple of um, weeks until um, a vlog goes back up. Uh, so yeah, I am also filming on my phone today just because I thought it might be a little bit easier to upload instead of pulling the laptop out. I don't really need to edit this video um, as such, so I just thought it might be easier on my phone. The light, it's, I can see blue sky, but it looks miserable around that blue sky. <laughs> there's there's a miserable sky with a little bit like that big <laughs> um, of blue. So hopefully um, it might brighten up a little bit later. But anyway, I thought I'd come on today and show you one thing that I finished, one thing that I'm working on, and a few things that I want to start. And I thought I would just show you anyway. Um, I am very pleased with these this finished object but <laughs> it's another pair of socks <laughs> um, I'm really sorry about the light but um, I'm hoping that it will be okay uh, these socks are um, drops fable from the cuff down to the toe and then the rest of the sock is made with the praise sock yarn that I got from Hannah from the cozy cottage crochet um, I just thought I'd do something a little bit different, but to be honest, if you, oops, <laughs> if you didn't actually know that there was different yarn in these socks, I don't think you would actually sort of know, if you know what I mean. Um, I have washed, and these are obviously on the blocking sock blockers. I do need bigger sock blockers, and I keep saying that all the time. Um, I just haven't got round to getting any at the moment, but I do need bigger ones. Uh, these are fine for now. Um, they are, I think they are dry. Um, but I just like the way the socks look when they have been blocked. I don't block all of my socks. Um, I block when I've finished them and that is it. <laughs> That's really lazy, I know. Um, but you can definitely tell the difference in the yarn from the toe. The toe is very silky and soft and the rest of the sock is quite rough. Um, I did gift the pair of socks that I made in this yarn to my sister because they were too small for me. Um, so I don't, she said that they do stretch quite a lot. Um, so I think that is probably the yarn. I don't know what yarn it was. Um, it was yarn that um, Hannah, had used to make socks and then it, it was the leftovers um, but I am really really pleased with these I love making shorty socks um, and that brings me on to my next um, thing that I want to talk about um, I have caked up two balls of yarn one is I could possibly be wrong because Mikey was here yesterday and my house was an absolute upside down <laughs> um, and I think this is um, Heart, uh, soul to soul. Oh, soul to soul. Is it this one? Soul to soul. Yes, it is. Soul to soul. Um, because I do have one other yarn that is completely different, but that is still up there. So this is soul to soul. Um, shade 0165. And this is the colourway. Um, it's very blue and very green with a bit of pink. Um, I believe it is a striped yarn. I have caked it up into 250 gram balls because I want to knit two at a time, obviously. And then I have also um, caked up some blue. Um, really, really nice light and like a darker blue. It reminds me of um, the sea and things. And this is from lollies oops and this is the antarctica and this is in the colorway five um it doesn't actually have like a, a name or anything it's just a colorway um colorway five and yeah so 
what I am thinking is I'm going away in five weeks time. These might possibly be my holiday socks because they are, they remind me of the sea. So I'm thinking these might be my holiday cast on. Um, and then the other ones, the reason that I caked two up is because I was there with a ball winder and I just picked out two that I like and I caked up two. So these might be the next ones that I cast on. They probably will be shorty socks. Um, and I will probably just do them all in this color. Um, I was going through my leftovers and there is some really nice ones that I wanna to put together, but I'm not sure at the moment, so. Um, the next thing is my work in progress, which is in my crochet bag. Not that it really needs to be, but um, this is a jumper that I have started. I don't have a proper picture. Um, I don't know where the magazine is, to be honest. It's from the Simply Knitting magazine. I have showed it in the past. That is a picture of the back. And yeah, so I am really enjoying knitting this actually um, but I have decided not to do the eyelets all the way up I've decided to do the eyelets literally until I get to the armholes um, or just below the armholes because I'm thinking that is just going to be easier <laughs> um, I know it's really lazy but this is Serdar not Serdar this is Stylecraft uh, Special DK and this is that is the color it is in uh, carnation but it is coming out really nice it's like two rows of eyelets and then there is um 10 rows so it's a 14 row repeat there's 10 rows of stocking stitch and then the four rows of the um eyelet pattern and it is super super easy and simple to do um, I'm not really a lover of the bot the bubbles on the bottom and someone did ask me whether I will be putting um, the bubbles on the cuffs I don't know yet <laughs> um, I'm, I'm undecided but the bubbles are like that um, some of them I can't get to stick out on the the right side because as you knit them now please tell me if I'm doing anything wrong but as I knit them they come out on the wrong side then you then me I have to poke them to the right side um, so I knit them and they come out on that side so they're nice and out but then I have to poke them to the other side so I don't know whether I'm doing them wrong but that is how the pattern said to do them um, and I, I suppose they are sticking out once I've poked them but this I'm not going to poke them every time I put it on. Um, maybe steam blocking them might make them stick out. I might have to steam block this anyway because it is rolling a little bit. So, But that's not a problem. Um, it's acrylic and I've steam blocked other things as well. That's that. And then um, one more thing that I want to start. I'm unsure what pattern I'm going to use. And I'm unsure. Um, I know... The yarn that I want to use, so I have Aldi's, um, the blanket yarn, I'm just going to call it that. Um, and I have it in this colourway, which is stripes, uh, multi-blue stripe. So the colour repeats are a lot longer. And I've got two of those. Uh, I've got three of exactly the same colour, but in the um, dot. So the colour repeats are not as long and then I've also bought um, this the last time Aldi had yarn and this is grey but it's quite sparkly I don't know where we're gonna see the sparkle in it um, and I don't know whether this is too girly for a boy because I want to make a blanket for the new arrival um, not the um, not Arthur <laughs> um, my sister's new baby um, but I don't know whether this is too girly. So I was thinking maybe doing a C to C. And <clears throat> I've got five balls of this. Four balls of that. So I didn't know whether to do it striped or whether to do these two striped. So you can't really see the um, two different yarns. Like, I don't know, maybe like 
obviously sit, do the stripes, but do like so many rows in each. Um, and then maybe, not line it, um, edge it with the grey. Um, I don't think four balls is going to be enough of this yarn to make a, a baby blanket. Uh, I don't know whether anyone has made a baby blanket with just four of these before. Please let me know. Um, and then the other idea was to actually make a baby blanket with all three of these yarn striped. Um, I don't know what to do. I am so indecisive. It is unbelievable. Um, so, yes. Um, I really don't know. I don't know what to do. Obviously, I want to use the yarn because it's just sitting there. And there's another boy. Um, I've already got a teddy bear made up that um, I'm going to gift the new baby. It hasn't got a name yet. <laughs> and I just don't know what to do. So I pulled out the yarn and I do want to start that before I put up another video, which will probably be next week now. Um, obviously, it's Friday today. My last video was Friday. Um, I don't know whether that will be a rolling thing or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how things go. But how is everyone? How is what is everyone up to? Uh, I have been watching YouTube like a crazy woman, <laughs> uh, just catching up with everybody. Uh, me and Casey, uh, Casey came around yesterday and we sort of just watched loads of urban exploring and things. And then we watched um, Harry Jane. Uh, she's part of my, on my well, she's I, I'm a subscriber to her. She does plus size clothing hauls and that. Um, but because she's in the UK, she does sort of places where I would shop like Tesco and Asda and Boohoo and things like that. Um, and then she did a Q&A with another YouTuber who is called um, Sophie Payne. And oh my God, I love her. She has, she makes me want to vlog. <laughs> she does weekly vlogs. She does clothing hauls she does she did vlogmas i think um and she is just beautiful um harry jane is really really pretty as well but this other late this other girl um she reminds me of uh a friend actually um i don't know why i really really don't know why but um it's my mum's friend's daughter uh but anyway I just really, really like her and I've been binge watching her today. I was up at eight o'clock this morning um, and it's now half past 12. <laughs> um, I have got up, washed, dressed, hair. I washed my hair because um, I thought I could not do a video with how it was yesterday. It was nasty. <laughs> um, also, I'm thinking of staying blonde for my holiday. Um, I don't really want to go pink. Uh, so I think blonde is the way forward and then maybe next year go dark I don't know <laughs> um, as I said I'm very indecisive I just don't know what to do um, I was going to do my nails today as one of them the, the gel has come off but I'm just in one of those I can't be bothered to do anything moods um we was due to go to a party tomorrow but ian is working um sunday he starts really really early so we're not going to that otherwise i would have done my nails either today or tomorrow um but i'm trying to work it out for when we go away that i can do them just before we go and yeah whatnot it's becoming um so I think I might do the Monday if I'm not doing anything. Uh, but do you like my cushion? <laughs> this is the cushion that Casey uh, made me for Christmas. And I thought I would just put this here. Ooh, don't fall. <laughs> um, I really like Jan's little felt thing that she can put her Urban Gypsy crochet. But I thought this would be perfect because it is literally like that, but my cushion. Um, I don't actually use this cushion because I love it. I like it too much to squish and use. So it normally sits in my corner just over there. Um, so, yes, I don't really know what else to talk about. My car is finally fixed, um, if you are interested. <laughs> um, it was some bushes that needed to be changed. So I spent, or we spent over a hundred pound uh, on trial and error fixes and didn't fix it. 
and then in the end it was or it cost us £10 to actually fix the issue. <laughs> um, Ian managed to get some second hand, second hand parts from a friend um, to rule out because it was the bushes that was actually gone in the wishbones, if you know what they are, if not. <laughs> but, and Ian thought they were, it was that, and the garage was like, no, 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 it's not them, it's not them, they look fine, blah, blah, blah. So Ian said, look, I just want to rule them out. So he asked around and asked some friends if they, they had any parts and they did um and the the man said they're just sitting in the garage just to give us a tenner for them so he gave um his friend 10 pound changed the wishbones and the um the bushes were already in the second hand part so Yes, the car is fixed, the tracking is done, uh, but then I went out to it, not yesterday, day before, Wednesday, got in the car and I was like, this chair is really cold, and um, I had trousers on, um, I sat down and then I put my hand on the chair, and the chair was soaking wet, it wasn't cold, it was wet, and I was like, oh my god, so my car has leaked, uh, we think it was just the sunroof because the gutter was blocked. Ian, in the doors, there's some gutters. And Ian squished the little rubber where the water does actually come out, like the drain. Um, and it was a little bit blocked with a bit of dirt. So, fingers crossed. It has absolutely hammered down yesterday. Um, and I think it rained this morning. So, I'm going to go downstairs in a little while and see if the car is actually now dry. Because <laughs> um, the car is still... He had to pull the roof lining down to make sure the pipe was on and whatever um we poured water down and there was there was no more leaking fingers crossed it's now done um so yeah that's really all i have got to say um i haven't made any more bags and the sewing machine is sitting down there looking at me that's why i am mentioning this um i haven't sewn any more bags i haven't cut any more bags I'm just not in the mood. I don't know. I think my passion and my love is yarn. Uh, it's knitting and it's crochet. I love both equally. I know I do a lot of knitting lately, um, but I do love crochet just as much. Um, and I think because crochet, I find I get lots of patterns for, um, like amigurumis and especially in the Simply Crochet magazine, um, I find the patterns don't go big enough for me, where in the knitting magazines they do, so I tend to knit things for myself a lot more. Um, but I do love both equally, and you give me a hook, I'll enjoy crocheting. You give me needles, I'll enjoy knitting. I do enjoy both equally as much. Now, with sewing, um, I do really, en I did enjoy making my bags, um, but I've got to be in the mood. I don't know why, I've just really got to be in the mood, and um, since I've made them two bags, I just haven't been in the mood. Uh, I'd rather sit there with a ball of yarn and make something with it. So, obviously, that is my passion, and that is what I enjoy doing most. Um, a lot of people said, I'll make the bags and sell them. Uh, and put them on my Etsy store and things. That might be something that I do in the future. I nearly said the past then. That might be something I do in the future. But at the moment, um, I haven't got loads and loads of fabric. So it's not like I can just make loads and loads of bags. Um, I got the fat quarters that I got from Aldi. And I've got a little bit of owl fabric that um, I bought a little while ago. So I haven't got like tons and tons of um, fabric that I can just cut loads and loads of bags and just do loads and loads of sewing. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I did enjoy doing it at the time and I think I've got to be in the mood to do it. So, and I think if I'm not in the mood, then I'm just going to think, why am I doing this? And it's not going to come out as nice. So 
yeah <laughs> um i was thinking of um, making myself um some nice summer dresses um and getting a nice pattern and make like t-shirt top a little bit like this um and then cinch it in just under the bust or just a little bit like, like not so much waist probably a little bit higher than your waist i suppose in between that sort of area and then just to have it flow right out but I haven't even thought about that anymore it sort of crossed my mind and I was thinking about it and um, then that was that <laughs> um, I think because that fabric shop has gone down the market that it's sort of well, where where do I buy fabric from now because it was so cheap in there as well it, like they would sell fabric like two three pound a meter um, well I've looked online and fat quarters are like that sort of price um, so yeah I don't know, I'll just have to wait and see. Um, if you were following my vlogs, um, this is something else that, yeah, it's come since my last video, so I haven't spoke to you since. But if you followed my vlogs, you will have you would have seen that I went for an MRI uh, back in April, because it was my April vlogs. Um, I got my results back and they're all clear. So um, I do have breast screening as I have the BRCA1 gene i've got hair in my eye and it's driving me mad um i have the BRCA one gene um and i have to have breast screening every year so i went for that and everything come back clear so yeah i was very very happy about that um i don't think there's really anything else more to update you on um I find when I don't vlog, I find it, <laughs> just forget what I do and what I get up to. Um, most of it was car trouble, to be honest. Most of it was trying to get the car fixed and every day was trying new things and oh, it just, it was crazy. Um, my friend Tina that I go to every Tuesday, she's got a new doggy. Oh my God, it's so cute. Um, I... <laughs> Charlie, little Jack Russell, it's, he's mixed with something else, but little Charlie, um, he's nine months old, he's so cute, um, adorable, so maybe in one of my vlogs one day I might get a little bit of footage of him, um, yeah, I've been working, um, been back doing a little bit of hairdressing and that, so yeah, that's about it really um now it's sort of preparation for going on holiday and getting bits and bobs done i do want to take some pro some more projects other than socks with me what i don't know last year it was a last minute decision to take the handkerchief top with me and i don't really want to do that this year i want to um i want to think about what i want to take uh, but i always rack my brain and then just decide to take something last minute and think I don't even really want to be making this um so I know that I can make some baby bits and possibly they're, they're, they will be smaller to take than a great big thing for myself so we shall see um but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling I've rambled on for 23 minutes <laughs> Um, but I've been, I've been watching all your videos, so I was going to do a shout out video and I did film a shout out video yesterday morning. Was it yesterday morning? Or the day before? Could have been the day before. Um, but it was like over 40 minutes long where I had so many people that I wanted to give a shout out to that it was like, oh my good, oh my good, oh my goodness, like too, too many. Um, and... So what I will do is I have seen that Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast has just done 10 people or gave 10 people shout outs. Um, so what I might do is do a couple of videos instead of just one big whole long video um, and do people that people might not have heard of before and people that I haven't really mentioned that often before um instead of just the usual uh people that I mention like uh Jan as I mention her quite a lot um and Ruth from Pink Pumpkin Crochet I know I'm giving shout outs now and name dropping but um yeah I mention a few people quite a lot so uh, it's the people that are um, new to me and that I don't think people may have heard of. 
So I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Hopefully there will be a video up next week at some point. I would have thought so. <laughs> um, because I want to start some socks. And hopefully I'll have one side of this finished. I don't know why you start at the front. I think it's really strange. Um, I've never started on a front before. Before the back. I've always started the back. Then the front. And then the sleeves. But um, yeah. I don't know. Um, I also really, really, really want to do a top-down cardigan or jumper. And I'm going to start with a small one for Mikey, just so I can get the hang of it. And it might be a crochet one. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and stop rambling. Thank you for watching. Please press that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Please press the like button and the bell button to be notified when I put up a video. And I shall see you all next week, hopefully. Bye!